Uh, welcome to this lesson. This is a uh, form for mathematics. We are going to go through trigonometry. And uh, the question we have read, solve the equation that is the sine of twice theta plus 30 is equal to the root of 3 divided by 2 for the range of the values of theta between 0 degrees and 360. So let us look at the working to this question. That is we have the sin of twice theta plus 30 and this is equal to the root 3 you divide by 2. So if uh, we move down we are going to have the sin of twice theta plus 30 degrees and this one is going to be equal to the root of 3 you divide by 2 and if we take root 3 you divide by 2 we are going to have 0 0.8660 so we have 0 0.8660 from there now we get the sine inverse of 0 0.8660 so we are going to have twice theta plus 30 being equal to the sine inverse of 0 0.8660 and if we take the sine inverse of 0 0.8660 it is going to give us 60. Once we have that we are now going to use uh, the unit circle to try and get the values of the angles that we need. So we have our unit circle here with the four quadrants. With the four quadrants. That is, uh, we have zero degrees. Then zero, we are going to have 90. Then 90, we have 180. Then this one is 270. Then next, we have 360. So 360, you add 90, we are going to get 450. Then 450, you add 90, we are going to get 540. 540, you add 90, we are going to have 630. Then 630, you add 90, we are going to get 720. Then 720, you add 90, we are going to get 810 in that particular order. If you take 810, you add uh, 90, you are going to get 900 in that particular order. Now we have our twice theta plus 30 degrees. The first angle we have measured is 60 or we have gotten is 60 and 60 being an acute angle of the sine, we are going to measure 60 degrees in the first quadrant from zero and also from 180 degrees, we are going to measure also 60 since sine is positive in the first and the second quadrant so from zero degrees we have measured the first angle to be 60 and then of course from 180 we are going to take 180 minus 60 to get the next angle which is going to be 120 then now that is the first round the second round will begin from 360 we measure 60 so it is 360 plus 60 which gives us 420. Then next we take 540, we minus 60. So this one is going to give us 480. That is the second round. The third round we are going to have 720. We add 60 and this one is going to give us 780. And next now we are going to have next we are going to have uh, 900 minus 60 we are going to have 840 so we can stop there because you can go as many rounds as you can but let us now get the values of theta that we are looking for so the first one is where we have twice theta plus 30 degrees and this one gives us 60 so if you take 30 to the other side, it becomes 60 minus 30, which is 30. And therefore, twice theta would give us 
30 degrees and our theta is going to be equal to 15 degrees that is if we divide by 2 on both sides then next we are going to have twice theta plus 30 which is going to be equal to 120 so if you take that to the other side it becomes a negative so twice theta will be equal to 120 minus 30 which gives us 90 divide by 2 on both sides our theta is going to be equal to 45 degrees next we take twice theta plus 30 and this one is going to be equal to the next angle which is 420 and if you take that to the other side we are going to have twice theta is equal to 420 minus 30 which gives us 390 so if you divide by 2 on both sides theta is going to be equal to 390 390 you divide by 2 which gives us 195 degrees next we are going to have twice theta plus 30 and this one is going to be equal to the next angle which is 480 so twice theta is going to be equal to 480 minus 30 which gives us 450 so if you divide by 2 on both sides theta is going to be equal to 225 degrees and of course we can move down where we are going to have twice theta plus 30 degrees and this one is going to be equal to 780 so if you take 30 to the other side we are going to have twice theta being equal to 750 and if you divide by 2 on both sides our theta is going to be equal to 750 you divide by 2 which gives us 375 and you realize now 375 is above the range and therefore we are going to stop there so therefore the range of the values of theta that we are looking for will be equal to 15 degrees 45 degrees 195 degrees and lastly 225 degrees and that becomes the answer to our question thank you for watching and welcome and just in case you have just come across this channel for the first time kindly click the subscribe button